Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are doing cause and effect on the smallest COD zombies map. So every new round we get, we'll get a brand new cause, which will also have an effect. So we get when player slides, active gun loses a bullet. So we basically want to try not to slide, which is not going to be too challenging on the smallest map. Oh, when a player earns 100 plus points, it spawns a random power up. Now this is pretty good. We want to try and get them out of the barrier here, which could be risky, but I think we got this. Oh, we got death machine here. Oh, it just spawns right in front of us as well. We, we don't have to get them to come out the barrier but we have unfortunately left here let's get a, a weapon when a zombie spawns player's gun gets a random camo oh okay that's just pretty cool i guess okay it's currently just not working i think it's because they're custom weapons well technically this gun isn't custom so i don't know why it's doing it actually this is a custom map i don't know how many of them are actually gonna work i think this is more built for actual zombies maps when a player reloads, a random perk is lost. Damn, and we've just lost Quick Revive from that. Okay, so let's just not buy Quick Revive for this round because we're definitely going to end up reloading. I just want to keep hitting the box just until we get something like the Dingo. Or oh, the PVSH would be great. Definitely not the Shadow Claws. That's not too bad. That doesn't really affect us in any way. Save up for Juggernaut here. I think once we get past like round 10, it's going to start to get a lot more challenging. These easy rounds are, are going to be quite great. Um, Let's Juggernaut right there. Gosh, losing perks on the smallest map. Okay, so I think our goal is to probably pack a punch as soon as possible. When a player swaps weapons, player's orientation is slightly changed. Oh, I hate that. Oh, that's awful. That makes my eyes go funny. I don't know why. Oh, the bootlegger. I'll take that. Okay, what are we going to get? When a player takes damage, a random zombie dies. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay, I'm going to get double tap here. We're definitely not going to need dead shot, so we can go for the original four perks here. There's no wonder fizzers there. No. I don't want to swap these weapons out, but I'm actually going to run out of ammo, so I'm actually going to have to spin the box here. The SVG. Why did I take it? We've totally got this. The Dingo. There you go. That's what we wanted. We're definitely going to need Speed Curler now, though. When a power-up spawns, wall buy prices are randomized. Well, we've got no wall buys, so we're good there. Ammo could be a pretty big problem here, considering they're probably not going to be coming out of the barriers as much. We're not going to be able to get any drops, which means no max ammo, so we might have to be consistently swapping out weapons here. Here you go. What we're going to get. When a player loses 300 plus points, it spawns a random power up that's pretty goaded i do not want that i really do not want that see things like this where it can spawn a random power up will be great for max ammos where is it oh it's i can't i can't get that okay great i can't grab it it's just it's only a fire cell so it's not the end of the world but that's kind of annoying the vmp will be good for some points actually which we're gonna need when a zombie dies to a grenade it spawns a zombie should we see how many zombies we can get in the barrier just because i'm curious let's do it we can get some points from this actually there you go now we got a few extra zombies coming in which is not good for my ammo now actually oh we got the bootlegger again i'll take that i kind of want enough to pack a punch this dingo to be honest when a zombie spawns player takes one damage damn that's kind of mean like, if this was on a high round, we could take some serious damage here. We have got to double digits now, which means it's starting to get a little bit more scary. I think at the end of this round, we should probably most likely end up pack-a-punching. I think I am going to end up pack-a-punching the Dingo. The bootlegger would be cool. It just hasn't got the ammo like the Dingo does. When a perk is purchased, wall buys are randomized. That doesn't cater to us at all. Also, while we've got a bit of a quiet moment here, I just want to say thank you guys for the support at the moment. At the time I record this video, we're almost at 1.4k. I want to try and get to 1.5k by the end of the year, which I'm sure we will end up smashing. And the channel's only going to get bigger after october when black ops 6 launches but honestly my goal is just to try and upload at least twice a month i'm going to be definitely doing more than that but just to keep you guys happy i want to try and do two whether that's custom zombies an analysis video i'm going to try and change up the zombies content obviously i am going to be doing still cod zombies but i want to try and do loads of different types of styles of videos and then obviously as soon as black ops 6 launches loads of stuff will be posted about that when a player gets a headshot player takes one damage okay that's also really annoying we shouldn't die from that though the mx grand no thank you i can't actually remember if this thing's good or not i don't think it is right oh, it's definitely better than the shiva for fun should we upgrade this just just because we can i might have to no 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 oh that was close let's upgrade this thing no 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 oh that was too close that was way too close that was the first close call we've had i think definitely rebuilding these barriers is gonna help i don't know i haven't been doing that we've got a lot of wall buys are randomized which doesn't actually just cater to us at all so it's quite nice this is kind of just like a normal round now i think the round goal is most likely probably gonna be 25 we can see if we can get to 25 i'm sure we can smash that though when a power-up spawns, player speed is randomized. I kind of want them to come out of the spawn here, just so I can see how, if we can go really, really fast just in this tiny square. Let's let's get a few out here. We should get a power-up fairly quickly. 
Oh, there you go. Oh, no, we're slow. We're really, really slow. Oh, no. Come on, give me another power up. I want to go really, really fast. No, no. Oh, I almost died there. Let's push him back a little bit. That was a bit too scary. Let's get a... Uh... Oh, no, I've accidentally just bought dead shot. It doesn't matter. We've got it now. When a player gets a headshot, player gets a random camo. Let's see if it actually works this time. Oh, it does. Damn, that looks kind of cool. Let's see if we can get dark matter here. Damn, some of these camos are sick. These camos are actually such a throwback. I haven't seen some of these in such a long time. Damn, you got the gold. That looks crazy. My aim is awful. Damn, we went down. No way. Just because my aim was that bad. That is not good. All right, let's, let's buy as many perks as we can get quickly. I think we can... Oh, yeah, because our quick revive disappeared the first time. So that's all we could get. Damn, that came in clutch there. Okay, I think it might be time to get rid of the MX Grand now. Oh, the FFAR. That's pretty goaded. I've also seen monkey bombs are in there, so... I've just fallen off the map. Oh my, oh my God. Oh my, that's, that's, that's embarrassing. That, that is very embarrassing. I feel like we shouldn't even have another attempt at this point. I'm actually quite embarrassed to have just fallen off the map. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe. Like the video if you want me to do more cause and effect. Also put in the comment section below if you want me to do the spawner room challenge, but gun game. That said, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.